Hello, this is Priscilla Batsell. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. That's a 14 by 14 inch canvas. That's a little bit of overflow of paint that I had hanging out in the bottom of a can I didn't want to waste most of the time. And this is Sherwin-Williams eggshell white latex. Most of the time I find that um, putting paint around the outside edge and a little toward the inside helps me spread my paint from the puddle in the center when I'm doing blooms and I'm going to do a bloom. I'm going to try and do a bloom without that thing on my blade and my spatula. I'm going to try and do a bloom. Less is more. Less marking. Less swiping for cells and will spin. And then I'll make up my mind if that's really what, what's going to happen or not. This is an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. I recommend these for everybody who does paint pouring for a number of reasons. They're great swipe tools as well as paint spreading tools. They're on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is on my link tree. My link tree is directly under the video. All right. Let's see if I can prove my point. There, I got rid of the paint. I feel better. I just couldn't leave it in the can. What can I tell you? And that is probably going to get thrown into my rectangular trough of a bucket. I have to decide how big my pillow is going to be. And I prefer it not be so big that it needs to go all the way to the outside edge. So long as it spins out so that it will hit that interior I've just laid down, we should be all set. I'll throw that in the bucket. Now, I've got some primary elements, some prism pores. Actually, prism pores from Color Art. I've got true silver, which for whatever reason I think I'm going to use first. I've got some black iris. I do if it'll come out. I might have to take the top right off that if I want any. There we go, I got it. I was inspired by Winter Strom Art. She did a, a reel. I think it was a YouTube reel. This is, um, some royal sapphire. I'm going to try and get some of these out of the way. And my quinacridone nickel azo gold from Golden. And then I'm going to swipe. I'm kind of wishing that I used some gold, but I think I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and give myself a little bit more. I don't know why. I just I love the quinacridone nickelase of gold. It's by Golden. So let me grab my swipe tool, which I made out of part of the inside of a lid or something. That one's broken. Anyway, so maybe that's not the right one to use. Maybe I should use something that's just about the right size. Let's do that. I'm going to use both black and white cell activator, Australian Floatrol, and Amsterdam black, and then Amsterdam white. My white is a little thin. It's time for me to order a new bottle. And I was going to use something else, but I think this is it for right now. Not sure what this is going to reap me at all, at all, at all. I wish I hadn't thrown that spatula in the bucket. I think what I'm going to do is use a smaller
palette knife. And I want to see what happens. Oh, that was a lump of something that needs to go out. Just spread some paint to begin with. Try not to drag my fingers through it too badly. This is definitely playtime. get rid of that because if I spin all this on the edge will come out. Now it's time to grab my larger palette knife which is only a little larger. Let's tip all that down and over. <laughs> Completely new novel idea for me. Nothing like what I was talking about I had seen. But it doesn't mean we can't still make something interesting out of it. And if I had a spare bunch of cells, I could steal them. That is kind of what I feel like doing. Yeah, I did take that off the edge, but it's really not a problem. Because the paint should spread out. Got to break the seal sometimes. Feeling like putting some purple in there. And I've got this side that's really un an untapped resource. Pull up to release the section on your canvas. All right, I'm being called and I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna put some wild orchid. Well, I will if it's open and it doesn't seem to be, so I'm just gonna put whatever I can get right now. Right there. And I think I'm going to indulge myself. Oh, I would. Come on out, plug. I got the plug open on the cerulean blue, I think. Maybe not. Let's clear that tip. Hang on a second. All right, I can see, I can see light through it. So, so what I'm going to do is wipe off my palette knife. What I'm really going to do is look for a larger palette knife use the black the white and then the cerulean blue on top of it If I like it, I'll do it again. But I'm not sure where. I do like it. I have been remiss not using the tiny palette knife, but I see when I watch Winterstrom that it works very well for controlling 
the areas that you're pulling out. This is a wing it. I need to experiment because I, I've discovered ways of doing this that I like, but it's easy to get stuck in doing something that you like. And I want to boldly go. <laughs> I want to go further and explore more. I didn't get nearly as much of my quinacridone nickel azo gold as I was expecting to. Now if you're going to do that, what I just did, scrape down a canvas, make sure you come back again and fill it back in. That silver in the middle is kind of bugging me. I think I need to drag something over it. Or through it. Let's see if I have anything else I can steal easily. No, that wasn't easy because I dragged something the whole way. Let's just make it a part. Let's integrate it into the composition. <laughs> Fake it till you make it. I have learned to take my time, or attempt to take my time. Do as many crossovers as I feel I can. Allow myself. Because the more pattern changes you make, the more interesting what you spin out will become. And if you leave swaths of color, they're going to become negative space. This is absolutely nothing like anything I had in mind at all. But that's okay, because I think it might be pretty cool. So this is not negative space if I put a spiral in there. As in, this is also not negative space. And I do use spirals a lot because I love spirals and I don't always love the negative space that I've got. And you can do them anywhere, but pull up from the center because otherwise you'll drag a little tail with you. And if you need to, to add a color to a, a spiral, put your skewer in somewhere else. and just twirl it in place in the end and then check for bubbles. This is one of those spots that I'm talking about that would probably turn into some negative space. All right, I have no idea what I've got, but I gotta take one last look and make sure. There, right in the center, we're going for it. So I guess I'll be doing it again and seeing if I can get a little closer to what I had in mind. I'll take this stuff out of the way, drop my tools in the bucket and get ready to spin. Do I really want to spin yet? Boy, I kind of do, I kind of don't. I think I'm just going to grab another palette knife. Move some of that purple and maybe some of that blue too. And evidently some of the white while I'm at it. I become less afraid as I go along to just move a color that's on my palette knife to another location entirely. So long as I can come back through and spread out the paint so I'm not destroying anything by removing a bunch of paint and then not fixing it. I like that. I don't know about the drips I just put down. I am going to steal a little bit more. And go back in the same direction I came from. Lift to break the seal. That worked out nicely. I know I'm still doing it. I'm obsessed. And I'm going to lose half of it anyway. 
and I left this gap over here. Why would I do that? <laughs> Maybe so I could do something else in there. Let's see if it spins out and then we'll worry about it afterwards. All right, I've got a barrier over here. One bottle that needs to be moved. Move it back a little bit. I've been tempted to put down, if I'm missing areas, I could just put down another puddle of paint, like this up here. So I've got three minutes, which is kind of cool and kind of not. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure about that. This little line going through there doesn't work for me. And I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. I don't want a lot, but I don't want that straight line in there either. And I've got a palette knife that I can use. And I really like the black cell activator and I really like the purple, but I've got some teal. I've got some, which reminds me, I've got a 10% off coupon code from Pixels Paint Design as well as a 20% off coupon code from Color Art. So check under the video under Show More. This is the Boom Gel in pearlescent teal. I never thought about it not working. <laughs> At least it balanced things out a little bit more. So what should I do? Add a spiral. Add a couple spirals. Taking chances. I kind of want something over here and if I don't get it then I'm not going to be happy I don't think. This time, I'm going to give it some of the, some more of that quinacridone nickel azo gold as long as I put it someplace I could find it. And while I'm there, I might as well. Did it really seal up in that amount of time? No, I remember now. I poured it out. I'm going to run out of time. Oh no. This is why I really. I'm going to start a GoFundMe if I stop being a chicken so I can buy a camera because I can't afford it now. All right, I'm just going to take the paint right out of the cap. This time I'm going to use the black and the white. I'm going to go All right, that's a lot more balanced for me and it probably will spin out and I've got a minute left to do it in. So let's just get on with it. All right, I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Please give me a thumbs up if you like what I do. That's a lot better than it was. I, I keep experimenting. I'm not always successful every time, but I'll, I don't give up easily. And uh, make sure to keep your eye out for that color art coupon code and the Pixels Paint Design one also. Uh, underneath Show More, you're going to find my link tree with all my links. That's pretty cool. I'm good with that. That's neat. The only thing I'm seeing that I'm really not sure about is this spot down here and I can smooth that out myself. 
Otherwise, I'm pretty happy and I have very little runoff. You guys take care of yourself.